Happy Thursday! Happy Thursday, everybody! <laughs> just gonna see if she would actually start. I always start these. I know, these it wears me out. Thing. Okay, I'll start. No, 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 I got it. Okay. Um, today, we are going to talk about something that, another thing, I always say something that's really important, because all this stuff, I guess, is really it's important. all important. Yes, but today it's about being grateful or thankful. Now, it's something that I think a lot of us over, I know I do, many times, I, it's easy for me to forget what I should be grateful for. Um, it's also easy for me to be negative at certain things, like road rage. I have that a lot. Like, think, uh, oh, I, I drive like 14 miles on the freeway and it takes every day, just one way to traffic, I mean, to work and back, and that takes me like 45 minutes each day, just at 13 miles, because I sit in bumper to bumper traffic. Um, so, it's easy for me to, to get into the mindset of, why me, damn me, damn this person, damn that person, and realistically, that does nothing for anybody involved, right? Um, it's really, really easy to fall into that, but we need to step back a little bit and look at like everything that we'd have to be grateful. That whole like first world problem thing, which sounds ridiculous because it's so kind of played out now, but it's very true. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> I'm, waiting for she's got something to say that I'm waiting for because it kind of helps. Right. Me. So, so my thing, and it was funny because I was working out today, and it just like popped in my head, and so we've got like a dry erase board, and I just threw it on there right now. And what I really want to share with you guys is find the message in your mess. Exactly. That's what I was waiting for her to say in the very beginning. Find the message in your mess. Sounds kind of weird and corny, but you know what? Write that, write that somewhere today. Find the message in your mess. Yes. Yeah, because we can always find a message in our mess. <laughs> so, um, you know, <laughs> there's, there's, there's kind of an analogy like, okay, you know, you're driving down the freeway with your kids and, you know, things are going on, you get a flat tire, you're like, oh, I don't have time for this, why do I get a flat tire, why me, blah, blah, blah. But then, you know, while you're waiting for the, the tow truck to come tow your car or fix your flat, stop staring at me, it's weird me out. Um, you know, you're talking to your kids and you find out that, you know, one of them's getting bullied in school and, you know, so you have that conversation and then, so, while, you know, having a flat tire, it's kind of a bummer. You just learn something about about one of your kids that maybe you didn't know before. So, you know, or driving in traffic. You know, I I learned road rage, road rage from him. He like passed it on to me. <laughs> so I now listen to personal development every single day to and from work, and it actually kind of puts me in that that attitude of gratitude and puts me in the right place. So you know, it kind of takes out that road rage, and I'm actually thankful for traffic now because it forces me to kind of be more in the in the moment and listening to what I need to be listening to at that moment. Exactly. That the, point of, <laughs> the, the, the point of all this is just to say that we all have things that happen in life that frustrate us or that, that irritate us. And it'd be easy to fall into the idea and the mindset of just going with that and getting more frustrated. But in reality, that does, like I said before, nothing for any of us. So we need to figure out the good in that, figure out the message that is being transferred in that mess or figure out what we have to be grateful for instead of what we have to complain about. Because realistically, it's like me getting a sandwich, buying a $10 sandwich for lunch at friggin' Whole Foods, and then being annoyed that the chicken was cold when it was a grilled chicken sandwich. And then at the end of it, realizing like, really? I'm not hungry, I've got food, I was more than capable of spending $10, which some people make in a year in certain countries, right. on a stupid sandwich, I was comfortable with that. And I'm complaining because the chicken wasn't warm enough. Mm -hmm. Like really? So getting kind of past that, getting in the mindset of positivity and being happy and excited for all the little stupid things. We can choose to find negative or we can choose to find positive, but it's our choice either way. Right. right? So that's kind of the point of all this. So we would love, I would love, I don't know what she's gonna challenge you with. Maybe she already had a challenge or not, but pfft. anyway, I would love to see something. You guys post something today. Comment below with something that you're grateful for. I know that's very Thanksgiving-ish, giving-ish, but that's what happens. We tend to do that just on, just during the holidays, mm -hmm. right? So let's step back a second and just take one moment to look and go, what am I grateful for today, right, the second? Or, one-up me. I was annoyed by this, but I found this positivity in it. Yeah. Okay? So, so um, I was also gonna share, you know, being grateful and thankful isn't something that comes naturally to us, right? It's, it's like anything, it's like eating or working out, you know, we're building those muscles, we're creating those new habits. So you might need to be more conscious about being grateful or being thankful. So whether that's putting a reminder in your phone, be thankful right now, or every morning, write down three things that you're grateful for, or before you go to bed, write down three things that happened that day that you're grateful for. So make a conscious effort to start focusing on that, and pretty soon you're gonna realize that you become more grateful and thankful 
for those things naturally because you've built that muscle. Yeah, and if you don't believe us, do that every night for a week. Challenge! Yeah, try it every night for a week or every day, every morning for a week. Write down three things you're grateful for. And you if you want to see life a little bit differently, go ahead. If you want to see life a little bit differently, you can call us wrong. Tell us we're stupid. Right. But I don't call stupid. Challenge me. I wouldn't feel very grateful. Okay, for that. Oh, and I'm just gonna say challenge. I just got it and okay. Whoever posts something of gratitude on your Facebook page, on your Facebook page and tags Justin and I, I've got a gratitude journal to send you. Okay, done deal. So you guys know the challenges. You've got your work cut out for you guys, maybe. But either way, have a fantastic day. Eat well, find some gratitude, and we'll see you guys very soon. Bye, everybody.